Hello, and welcome to Luna Midnight Designs. For this mermaid, I will be making a jellyfish mermaid. I let you all decide between a sea serpent and a mermaid, and to my surprise, mermaid won. So goodbye, Heath, and prepare yourself, Serena Von Boo. So let's get started. Let's start with the mermaid half of this doll. For that, I first start with immobilizing the tail. Mistake number one. I then add epoxy to smooth out the transition, and then sand, and then paint the clay to match the body. I spray the body with Mr. Super Clear and begin with layer 1 of adding color to the tail. I make a gradient from yellow to orange to orange red. I think it was like 5 layers until I got the desired look, or enough pigment on the tail. I add color to the fins on the arm and the back, the same way as the tail, just with orange only. For the tail fin, I paint it white and then figure out how to remove it from the main body and add color to it as well. This time I add a layer of resin, cure it, and then after curing it, it is still sticky so I add the shimmer powder over the resin. I do this twice and then seal the last layer of powder with gloss. I then attach the tail fin to the tail using resin as the binding agent. For the bell of the jellyfish, this part, I found a circle plastic clear thing and stuck a little clear stick with the needle so that I can easily attach it to the head of the doll. I then use hot glue to make this like jellyfish kind of texture or to give it more like a more interesting look. I don't know, I'm kind of guessing here. After the glue is dry, I add color just like how I did for the tail. I also add some blue spots just for fun and then seal everything with gloss. The hair in this project is kind of going to symbolize the stingers and the tentacles of the jellyfish. Ignore the curly nylon, I tried to use it but it was a bad idea. So I start off with the red twisted nylon. This is kind of like the thin tentacles here. In order to stick it into the head, I had to take some tweezers and just kind of like stab the head really hard and hopefully they stuck in and they did. And for the rest of the hair, I just re like normal. So the rest of the hair is gonna represent the thick thicker tentacles here. So my first type of jellyfish I was gonna go for was the lion mane jellyfish which has like so many tentacles and stingers it was like overwhelming amount. But it kind of took a weird turn and it is like a jellyfish that's of my own making really. No longer lion mane. The hair I'm using is from Custom Doll Hair and Shimmer Locks. So the yellow and the dark pearl orange and the twist of nylon is from Custom Hair Doll Hair and then Shimmer Locks is the curly nylon and then I also got tinsel but the majority of the hair I use right now for this project is from Custom Doll Hair. 
and both of these shops are on Etsy and they have the most amazing hair and like a wide range of colors and it's also the easiest I find to reroot. Once the reroute is complete, I put glue in the head and make sure all the hair plugs are covered in glue. And I wait for that to dry. For the face up, I spray the face with mist to super clear and start with the blushing. The cheeks, the eyes, the lips, the head, the ears, just everywhere. I then add color for the eyeshadow and then add more later with color pencils to bring out the pigment and then I add the whites of the eyes and the lips as well. To make the color more pigmented I go over with paint and then I add some blue spots as well to match the jellyfish bell. I then add more details to the face with blue paint, and finally I give her eyes. No eyebrows this time. This is actually the second face up, probably not going to be the last, but I wanted to show you this one because, well, I'll explain it later. So, this is the point I've reached. At this point, I wanted to call it done and get it over with and just be done with this doll. But, I am very unhappy with this doll. There are some good parts, but mostly I just really hate it. During the process of making this doll, I was dealing with a lot of stuff. So I was losing focus and motivation. It was, I was really struggling. I wanted to call it done, but posting it like this, I felt like it would be, I would just have to call it a failure. It wouldn't be a complete doll. And I didn't want to post something that was incomplete. So I took a step back and I worked on the doll off camera. And well, here is how she turned out. And here is the final doll. She loves to collect shells, all shapes and sizes. They tell stories of adventure in a wide ocean world. Sea glass is her favorite find, seeing how the water and sand polish and shape the glass over time. She lives in the sea and is always amazed at the treasure she discovers. I wonder what she will find next. I'm very happy with how she turned out. Taking a step back really helped me. Adding more of the blue details really improved her. I'm just honestly so relieved. If you all have any name ideas, please leave a comment. I'm always checking and responding. Thank you all for sticking around for this one. She came so close to being a failure. Anyway, follow me on Instagram to see more and to be more a part of my process, check out my community page for polls on doll ideas and sneak peeks of upcoming videos and subscribe to catch future videos. Thank you all for the love and support. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.